When somebody does wrong, when they commit a crime, they should be held to account. That doesn't necessarily mean that everybody who commits a crime has to go to jail. In fact, every year 15,000 people are managed by the probation service in the community on a court-ordered sanction. Probation is all about giving people a second chance. Probation service staff are passionate about and committed to their work and we know that probation works because we see it working every day. We see people turning their lives around. Six out of every ten people who are on probation or community service don't re-offend in a follow-up period. There are over 8,000 offenders under probation service supervision in the community. Every year, offenders on community service perform around 400,000 hours of unpaid work that work replaces over 1,000 years of sentences that in prison that would have had to be served otherwise. Probation is very much a community-focused organisation and a community-focused practice. We channel around 15 million euro in funding to a variety of community-based organisations that provide the offenders we work with with essential services to help them avoid reoffending. We also work with communities directly through our restorative justice programs. But probation is not about being a soft option. It's not about letting offenders off the hook. It's really about the ultimate goal of achieving a safer society, safer communities and fewer victims. And that benefits everybody. It's giving them an opportunity to address their behaviour and the risk factors. And it's an opportunity to change. We would first meet the clients through the court where a referral is sent to the probation service. These assessments would be known as a pre-sanction report or a probation report. And this would provide the judge with information regarding sentencing decisions and whether or not an offender is suitable for a community sanction. And we provide these assessments to not only the courts but to the Irish Prison Service, the Parole Board and any, any other bodies that may require them. I suppose all clients refer to the probation service are reluctant clients, so to speak. So our job is to try and reassure the client that the work that we do is focused on looking for the positives and to motivate them to, to make positive changes in their lives. We would agree what goals or what actions need to be taken by the client. It may be a requirement that they would do some work on the victim and the harm caused to the victim. The case management plan agrees these goals and there's a time frame set in during which the goals need to be achieved. Prior to returning a matter to court, we would always endeavour to discuss the matter with, with the offender and sit down and try and gain an understanding as to why they're not engaging with the service. And we would try and address those issues. Whilst we would work in a very supportive way with the client, we would always keep the victim central to, to our work. and ensure that the offender would also take responsibility for the behaviour. I suppose the satisfaction I get from the job is to look at a person that comes before the court and to see that person, I suppose, regain some, some self-worth and self-esteem and, and value in themselves and a sense of purpose in their life is, is very rewarding work. My life's a lot better now through what I've done since I got out of prison, through doing the CE, linking in with probation properly, start, like, keeping all my appointments. I'm no, no longer dependent on drugs. My relationship is a lot better. My relationship with my children is a lot better. Everything in my whole aspect, across the board, my life has just changed better for the better. Like, my probation officer has left the door open for me when my probation is finished now in two months, that I can still go and see them. It's not just that it's over and that's it then, you're finished, like, I can still link in, I just have to ring them and they, they'll meet me and talk to me. It's not just for the time that you're on probation, that they will still have an interest in you when you're finished. Probation works because it challenges and holds offenders to account. It does that while maintaining them in the community. Probation also works because of the dedicated and skilled social work trained staff that we have. Probation works because it provides offenders with the second chance and I believe people have the capacity to change.
the probation service is a key agency of the department and I believe that it makes an enormous contribution to the administration of justice and get people back on the right track. It works in tandem with all the other bodies in the department and I believe its role and contribution is truly enormous in that respect. The Joint Agency Response to Crime is, a, is the best example of a strategy where they work so that all the information that they have is shared among each of the players in the system. So as a strategy, it clearly works. So prisons are full of people who are poor, not just poor economically, but poor socially, emotionally, educationally. And what the probation service has to do is to help them to become fully functioning citizens of Ireland again. So the probation service plays a vital role in helping that transition. We now have a joint strategy on the management of offenders, which links together the three vital agencies uh, within criminal justice, i.e. on Garda Shikana, the Probation Service and the Irish Prison Service, supported by the Department of Justice. So this is a really exciting initiative where we join up our resources in tackling crime. Criminal justice will be served by having less people in prison and that by necessity will mean more people on probation. Community interventions are far more effective, they're far more cost effective and they are less disruptive to individuals. The probation service is one of the most important agencies in the criminal justice system in Ireland. On Garda Síochána works with the probation service each and every day of the year. JARC is a, a joint agency response to crime. It's a multi-agency approach again. The results from the pilots to date have been significantly impressive. Large reductions in offending by participants in the programmes. And indeed, which is my concern, prevent harm in communities at both the individual and the family and the neighbourhood level. The Irish Youth Justice Service was established in 2006 to implement the 2001 Children Act. The Irish Youth Justice Service deals at a policy level with issues but on the ground we're dependent on the other criminal justice agencies. The probation officers that deal with young persons probation, they would engage with them directly in terms of changing their offending behaviour. They would also involve them in various programmes in the community. So they, you know, they would deal with them in a holistic way to, to reduce their offending. It has worked well. There's good engagement with all of the agencies. I think we believe that we have delivered on the actions and improved the outcomes for the young people. I think probation works because it focuses on a whole of agency, a whole of government approach. It ensures that people's voices who need to be heard are heard. Probation works because we have a group of highly experienced and well-trained professionals who help the prison service, but more importantly, the community. I think it, it, probation works because you have a team of skilled, well-trained staff that know how to engage. I think probation works because it offers new opportunities to people to create new types of relationships with the state that will give them the chance to lead a different life in a better way that doesn't involve crime or criminality. Well, the benefit of the probation service for the courts is simply that it provides professional, objective and relevant information that enables the judge to consider the appropriate sentencing option because the court's role is to take into account the gravity and nature of the offence, the circumstances of the offender, but also and most importantly where it's relevant, the position of the victim and the impact of the offending behaviour on the victim. The professional assessment of the probation officer is going to give you a complete picture of the offender. It's going to let you know what are the circumstances, what are the risks of re-offending, what are the underlying causes of the offending behaviour. And community service um, report can sometimes uh, tell you about recidivism, potential for recidivism and so without this information it's it's very difficult for courts uh, to assess whether in fact a community sanction is appropriate. I think this might be the first uh, time in some instances where the offender has ever been challenged about their offending behaviour and it, its effect on the victim, uh, on the community, 
on their own families. And if they're uh, sufficiently empathetic uh, to want to change their lives and change their pattern of offending behaviour, the professional input of uh, a social worker, probation officer at that point, can be key to changing an awful lot of things. Because unless you really assess the underlying causes of offending behaviour, you're just going to continue to repeat the same problem. In this way, it, it's possible to achieve a rehabilitation within the community. And you have the assurance that the probation service are going to follow up and hold to account that person, whether it's they're released conditionally under supervision of the probation service or whether it's on a community service order. They will be held to account and the courts have the confidence that they will be held to account. I think probation works because it provides the court with information objectively garnered by a professional social worker to enable the court uh, to assess the proportionate and appropriate sentencing option in the individual case before the judge. The tradition of probation is really seeped in social work and really uh, taking on the task of helping to promote that change, that positive change. The people that probation officers are working with are very often people with very complex problems. Obviously the one that you know comes out in the research very clearly is the connection between drug and alcohol use and offending behaviour. So I mean I think the last statistics were over 80% of cases had an alcohol or drug issue involved. What we know about effective services really is that if we want people to go back into communities and to become full active members and positive members and in that community but we also have to recognise that they need to change and we the probation service needs to do what they can to support them in that change. My relationship with the probation service is based on collaboration. In order to conduct effective research, you really need that collaboration between practitioners and researchers, that it's seen as a collaborative process. The research has a number of key messages in relation to why probation is important. They don't just focus on the individual factors, but they also look at the offender in the context of the family and the community. As a result, its interventions work at those different levels, individual, family and community, that we don't look at the individual just as a person that doesn't exist outside either a family or a family and a community network. Working with people to identify why they believe they've got into trouble, what the underlying factors are, I suppose where our collaboration partnership comes with the probation service is to capture those messages, um, so to actually be able to document those messages and to feed them back into practice as well so that they can inform future practice and hopefully um, influence and inform the development of more effective interventions to reduce offending in the longer term. Probation works because it's very committed to a providing a professional service. It's evidence-based and evidence-informed, but it's also true to a set of values about respecting people and promoting change. Having the sort of support that the probation service offers, which is holistic and more long-term, can be really, really effective. Probation works because the approach taken is grounded in the most up-to-date knowledge and research on what works in reducing reoffending amongst the individuals that are referred to the probation service. PACE was founded back in 1969. We met with other volunteers and looked at the needs for people coming out of prison at the time. We have three sections of services. We have residential services, that's primarily for people under the supervision of the probation service coming either directly from prison or from the community who need support and accommodation. Our training services then incorporates a social enterprise module and our newest services, which run separately to the other two, are our prevention services for people with convictions for harmful sexual behaviour. Our newest programme has been operating as a pilot for the past 
last two years and we're now being extended into a third year and that's based on circles of support and accountability and all of these programs are about preventing further offending. Everybody that we work with has a conviction so we know they've caused harm so we have the opportunities to prevent them causing harm again and reducing the numbers of victims. In terms of having probation officers based in each community that supervise clients I think there's a huge benefit because it means that people can go back to the communities that they come from if they have an offence where that's okay. It means that they can be seen locally, that the probation service has a face in the community, that they get to be involved with other services including the likes of us. Because probation officers are coming with that social work training and background they're able to do the offending behaviour work, they're able to look at the offence but they're also able to look at the person in the context within which they're living and I think that's a huge advantage to everybody in society to have that community face of probation. Well JARC is a kind of an acronym which is the Joint Agency Response to Crime which is quite a mouthful but it's really about different people working together to deal with offenders. So we've got the probation service, police, the Gardaí, the prison service and community services are all working together to deal with some of the most prolific offenders in our community. It makes a real difference in turning people's lives around and I've seen that make a big difference in our community in Ballymun. For example, a local park near me for five years was a no-go area because there was so much drug dealing in it. That particular drug dealer has now got a job, he's working on a construction site, the park is teeming with children, that's a big difference. What we're dealing with is the most prolific offenders within the community, the people who are making lives a misery for people. If you focus on a small number of them and really put effort into helping them to turn their lives around, then everybody benefits, the community benefits, they benefit. Bally Runners has been a fantastic programme that's aimed at young offenders, uh, or people who are at risk of offending. The Bally Runners is a joint programme between the Ballymun uh, Job Centre and the probation service, so they work hand in hand. Get them out of the chaos that they're in, because a lot of them are kind of caught in a rut. They want to find some way out. And this programme, the Bally Runners programme, is a great way of getting them forward. Probation works because it works in a collaborative way with community-based organisations such as ourselves. It knows that in order to reduce risk, you have to work in a proactive and protective way with people. Um, and it has a broad-based approach and I think that works to everybody's interest and also I think that there's a lot of value in probation's work through the interagency partnerships that they've developed in recent years. Probation works because it works with the community, it works with the offenders, it gives them options. They want to find a path out of the conditions they're in, they want to find a way forward, they lack the skills and it gives them some kind of a connection uh, and some guidance to bring them to a better place.